just kidding. <laughs> Don't panic, it's still here. <sighs> now let's put it on a train car. Why? Because they make it like that. I'm sorry, I did not mean to scare you. <laughs> Uh, it's just fun. It's fun to keep you on your toes. Today, today we're going HO again. Uh, it seems a lot of you guys like when I work on HO scale stuff. Quite frankly, I do too. Um, I don't have a lot of N scale inventory right now, so to speak. I mean, I have my own stuff, but um, a lot of times I'm working on stuff that I'm either selling or stuff for other people. So my stuff kind of takes a bit of a back burner. Today I'm gonna be working on a car that belongs to my brother actually. It is a Athern Genesis TTX High Q box car. And I'm almost afraid to touch it because it's so well detailed. Look at the bottom of that thing. It is just phenomenal. Like it's not all just one molded plastic piece and it's just, Oh, <sighs> it's beautiful. However, it's too shiny. We gotta fix that. So, I'm gonna put this on here. And uh, it's gonna be fun. Let's get right into it. We're gonna take a bit of painter's tape and we're gonna cut it into a nice rectangle. And we are going to cover up the road numbers. So before I go to the very end of the video, this time I just wanna introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tim and I love all things model trains, but I mostly specialize in weathering and graffiti. So I model N scale and if you haven't seen my layout, there's a link to it right here. You can check that out when the video's done. Just wait till the end. In that video, I mentioned that I'm gonna be working on a bit of an expansion and I just wanted to let you guys know that that's actually going to take place very soon. I'm very excited about it. I am gathering materials. I pretty much have everything I need to start my bench work and so that's going to become a video in the near future. I'm very excited about it. But as for right now, today I'm working on HO scale because for one, it's a lot of fun. I like working on other scales besides N and also because I sell my graffiti and my weathering. Um, I'm currently working on a website right now. It's not up as of yet, but it will be very soon. So please be sure to check out that. And what it is up, the link will be in the description. You can check it out. Up until this point, I've been selling my work at train shows, but obviously because of COVID and the lack of train shows, that hasn't been the case. So now we've got our drawing. I don't normally go this detailed on my sketches. I just wanted to do that just to freak you guys out at the beginning. Um, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see what it could look like when it's done. I might not follow it exactly to a T. Haha, <laughs> to a T. Ah. Um, I at least have a good reference and I can kind of get my spacing down and all that kind of stuff. Because on this car, truthfully, it's a bit of a hack. I don't want to put any graffiti on the doors just because the level of detail on the doors is just insane. And the last thing I want to do is to run my pencil across and snap off that bar. I know my brother would have my head if I did that. This is a brand new car. I just took it out of the box today. So <laughs> let's dive right in. So I'm just going to go in with my pencil. And the thing about this one is I've already masked off the road name so anything where it's masked is obviously going to get taken off at the very end the idea is to still do the graffiti how i would so that i don't fake it you know what i'm saying it's it's better to actually full-on do the graffiti and then take the mask off than it would be to pretend like oh there's a mask there so we'll just draw a box within our graffiti now people have asked me i i did a live on Sunday with Chris from Go Via or Go Home. He does a Sunday morning brunch kit build session every Sunday morning. Um, you guys should check it out if you haven't. I'll link his channel as well in the description. His live is pretty cool because he brings on other, other guests to just build alongside him. And so I, I came on just for fun, just to hang out. 
worked with him and Trains by Perry. We had some fun. I did some graffiti. They worked on a kit and uh, yeah, it was a good time. A good two hour long session every single Sunday. You guys should check it out. So the next step is exactly the same as how I did it in the drawing before. I'm gonna come in with my base color and I'm using these metallic markers again. I'm really fond of these things. <laughs> I've been using them a lot lately. And if you want a set of them, I'll link them in the description and you can check it out. Now, I'll be honest with you 100%, that is an affiliate link. And if you click on that link and purchase these markers, it's not gonna cost any extra, but I do get a small commission from it. And when I say small, I mean it's, it's peanuts, but it's something towards this channel which is very cool. Once again, I'm going right over top of the tape because I don't care. I'm so tempted to just pull this tape right off. I'm literally watching paint dry at this at this moment and I really, really, really want to see what this thing looks like with the tape off. Basically, in graffiti, there's three types of tags. So there's a tag, which is just a, basically with a spray can, you just scribble your name real quick. It's the quickest way to get your name everywhere, but it's also not seen as easily because it's so small. The second kind is called a throw up, where it's just quick, easy, usually like bubble style letters. And it's meant to be just fast and cover a huge area. Like you could put your name across a big wall in a matter of minutes and then you move on. And that's just the quickest way to get your name as big as possible. But then there's something called a piece, which is something that's a little more refined, like what I'm working on here with almost. And, and obviously there's way more talented people than, than myself that work on these pieces and they take hours on end and they look like murals. So those take a lot more time, but also they're more likely to stay because they just look cool. So on this, end of the car i'm just gonna quickly do what's called a throw up so even when i'm painting this one i'm not even worried too too much about getting an even coverage because the whole idea is for this one to just be quick and dirty it seems a bit ridiculous to say but this one's done and i think it looks great even though it's kind of janky looking that's the whole idea of it this car it's a perfect example of the three different kinds of graffiti you have your tags which are just quick and easy scribble with a spray can and get your name out as fast as possible as you're walking down the street basically and then you have your throw ups which are larger cover as much area as possible in the quickest time possible really simplified letter styles that just get the word up as quick as possible and then you have your most challenging piece called the piece, which is essentially just a big art piece. And I think that all three of them have their purpose and all three of them need to be modeled in order to make your layout look realistic. So one thing I'm gonna do that I am gonna point out is there's a nice little bit of overspray all the way around this car. I'm gonna take a silver marker and I'm just gonna paint the roof with it. It's all gonna get weathered anyway, so you're never gonna notice, but I'm just gonna get rid of that overspray real quick. There we go, that looks more like a roof. So essentially I'm gonna weather this the same way that I weathered the car for Chris from Go Via or Go Home. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it right here. You can check it out at the end of this video. Maybe while I'm working on this, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about how things have been going with this channel. I'm super excited about this channel. I think, I think that it's gonna be something great. My goal is to appeal to a younger generation. Not everybody, when they think about model trains, do they think, oh yeah, model trains are like the coolest thing ever. And I, truthfully, I don't quite understand why that is because I think that they're pretty cool. It brings so many different people together of all different ages and descriptions. And I think that it's just so cool. My wife actually has a hair salon in the basement as well. And she had someone over the other day getting her hair done and of course, I was in the basement working on the layout uh, with my son 
just as she was about to leave, my son goes running into the other room and goes, goes, my daddy has trains, come and look at the trains. And so she came into the room and she, she was expecting like a little tyke's train set or something like that. And she came into the room and she's just like, oh my goodness, your dad has trains. Like she was so like taken back by it. But the thing about this channel is I really want to showcase model trains to the world that wouldn't necessarily see model trains. And of course, obviously I have, my audience is mostly you guys. My audience is model train guys who are working on their layout and they want to find out a couple things here and there about graffiti. And that's cool too. But if you think, hey, maybe somebody who doesn't quite understand model trains who should, who should probably see this, <laughs> send on, share this video with somebody and say, look, model trains are cool. Don't worry about it. So this is kind of a happy accident. I painted this roof real quick with the metallic marker and then weathered it while it was still a little bit tacky. And I, I love how that roof looks. That is so cool because you've got variation in the silver because of the marker. And then also the way that the, the rust powders have just kind of blended in with it. It's just, it's so cool. I'm really happy with that. That was kind of a fluke. Just a quick run across the top and then I'm gonna pull down in a few spots along the ribs and I'm just gonna pull down. This is just a dollar store brush. I mean, why spend money on something that you're just gonna ruin? A lot of times with how I do the weathering, it'll depend on the style of car. So for example, this is a high cube box car, which is relatively new in comparison to a standard height box car. So a standard height box car, I'll typically weather a lot heavier because it's seen a lot more miles. Now I am gonna get into more advanced weathering, like with the airbrushes and some oil paints and washes and all this kind of stuff. But sometimes when you're not fully set up, I'm still organizing my basement down here. So when you're not fully set up, it's, e it's better to just do the quick setup. Now this is the kind of weathering that I would do at the shows just because it's, it's quick and easy and I can do it on the spot. I don't need to have a spray booth or an airbrush or any of that stuff, right? But I do wanna get into more elaborate weathering, more attention to detail kind of weathering. That's something to look forward to for sure because it's something that I don't get to do a lot of and I'm really looking forward to it now that, I mean, I'm home. <laughs> I'm, I'm not at the shows because there aren't any shows. So we might as well, we might as well take advantage of it, right? I'm excited about this part because I always love masking cars before graffitiing them and weathering them. It's a big trend on the internet, peeling things off. It's so satisfying. Boom. So we got some fresh road, road markings there. So that's one side. I might actually go through later and do a little bit more graffiti here, just over top so it looks fresh. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. The other side's kind of sad because we're gonna lose some of the graffiti, but I think it's worth it. All right, so there you have it. One graffitied car with three different styles of graffiti, just to show you the three different styles of graffiti that there are. I'm really happy with how this thing looks. And if you are too, please hit that like button. It really does make a difference to this channel. And if you like videos like this and you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to post as consistently as possible and you won't be disappointed. Thanks again for watching and remember, they make it like that. <laughs>